Hi there, this is Zara. This is the second video of my series discussing the characters of Black Butler and seeing how historically accurate their names are. I would suggest if you haven't watched the first video, watch that first. There should be like a playlist on my channel. We're going to continue on at character number 11 that I identified, Blabbert Sky. He is a fortune teller who appears in volume 23 in the Blue Colt arc. His name does not appear to be in the list of popular Victorian names and the surname Sky is held by 1 in 11 million people and is mostly found in Asia so I don't think it's very historically accurate. I think he probably goes by he originally had a different name but that hasn't been revealed in the manga yet. Character number 12 <laughs> um, Baron Burnett he is the late husband of an Angelina Dallas making him the uncle of the CLs. He was killed in a carriage accident where his pregnant wife was also injured and doctors were forced to abort their child. Burnett is a Scottish surname and is derived from the old French Burnette or brunette, meaning brown or dark brown. Carter, he is a tax collector who is one of the three judges in the Curry Fair in volume five. It is unclear if Carter is a first name or a surname. Checking the Victorian popular first names, it's not there. And if it's a surname, it derives from the occupation of a Carter, which was a very popular occupation in Victorian England. Cedric Brandle, he is only present in the anime and is ostensibly a tea manufacturer, but it secretly deals in guns on the black market. The name Cedric does not appear to have been popular in the Victorian period. It was most popular in the 1970s, however it began to be more regularly used in America after the book Little Lord Fantel Roy was published in 1885, whose protagonist was called Cedric Eroy. His surname Brandel originally comes from Germany Several branches of the same house with this, with this surname acquired estates across numerous countries which elevated their social status. Charles Grey, he is the private secretary and butler to Queen Victoria. In the manga, his family names so famous that they have the tea flavour Earl Grey named after them. He is based on the historical figure Sir Charles Grey, the private secretary of Prince Albert, and after he died in 1861, he became Queen Victoria's private secretary until he died in 1870. Charles Phillips, he is another private secretary and butler to Queen Victoria. Historically, the character is likely based off Sir Charles Beaumont Phipps, who helped Sir Charles Grey as private secretary to Queen Victoria. Cheslock. He first appears in volume 15 of the manga. He is a student of Western College and is currently a prefect of the Purple House. His name does not appear on the popular list. Klaus, he is a close associate of the Phantom High family and an aristocrat of evil. He frequently travels in order to gain information for them. His name does not appear in the list of popular Victorian names. Chris Heathfield, he appears in volume 29 and is the owner of Heathfield Manor and a member of Parliament. He is the boss of Mrs. Abby and Annie, who have been previously mentioned. The name Christopher ranks between 40 and 60 over the 50 year period. It, the surname Heathfield was regularly used as it describes physical features. A heath, which is an open area of cultivated land and a field. Clayton, he first appears in volume 13 and is a student of Western College and a prefect of Blue House. His name does not appear on the name of popular Victorian names. Claudia Phantomhive, she is grandmother of the CLs and is mentioned in the manga. Her name does not appear on the list of popular Victorian names. Looking at the surname Phantomhive, I have compared it against the surnames used in the 26 earldoms I looked at previously. 11 of the 26 surnames have origins that are connected to the Norman conquest of 1066. A similar 
Number can be connected to Anglo-Saxon England and Old English. Five have German origins and one is connected to Old Norse. In comparison, phantom derives from the Old French phantosme and the Old English word phantasm, meaning illusion and delusion. Hive derives from the Old English word hief. I've also separated the surnames into five categories, some of them being in several categories. Patronic, occupational, habitational, characteristic and geographical. Patrionic means a surname that is connected to the father. There is only one example of this. Occupational is a surname that is connected to work. There are six examples of this. Habitational is a surname connected to it's where someone works. There are six, six examples of this. Habitational is a surname that refers to a place. There are 12 examples of this. Characteristic is a surname that refers to the characteristics of a person. There are nine examples of this. Geographical is a surname that describes a place. There are 10 examples of this. Looking at these, we can then look at phantom hive and that doesn't really look it fit into the pattern. The word phantom could be a characteristic surname, but that's just a big stretch. There is also the issue that it is not a surname used much at all. All the surnames of the 26 earldoms are used by people. Whilst I was looking at the name, the surname Phantom Hive, I also found someone had put the Phantom Hive family on the Ancestry Tree <laughs> website, which I found kind of funny. Um, yes, but overall, the Phantom Hive as a surname would not be historically accurate. Countess Trancy. She appears only in the anime during season two. She is the wife of the late Count Trancy. She commits suicide after her son is kidnapped, which had caused her to sink into a deep depression. The last name Trancy is relatively unknown across the world, so it was likely not used in Victorian period. Dagger. He is a part of the circus arc with Beast and is a juggler and knife thrower. He was born without a right leg and gained a prosthetic leg from the doctor. He is shown to have a clear crush on Beast and dies shielding her from a machine gun. Dagger's real name is never told and obviously Dagger is not a Victorian name so you know <laughs> yes. Um, Damien. He is a scam artist and is the owner of the Poseidon Company's Indian factory that makes supplies for stuffed animals for the Funding Corporation. He requests £12,000 from other CL which was a lot of money back in Victorian period. For a workforce, he no longer actually has working for him. Damien is only shown in the anime, whilst the manga Klaus is shown instead. Similar to Klaus, his name does not appear in the list. As my conclusions, a lot of the names weren't historically accurate for this bit, so it's not looking particularly great. I think it is also important to note that only two of the 26 actual English earldoms from the 1800s share their surname with their earldom. Basically the Phantom Hive family would not have the name of their earldom which is the Earl of Phantom Hive. Like they should have a different name and then the Phantom Hive should just be the earldom's name. It doesn't make any sense. They could have like the surname Smith. That was very popular. That's a still very popular name in fact. Smith would have been like a like a TL Smith. Oh in fact it would be Vincent Smith, <laughs> by my calculations. Yes, um, Vincent Smith actually sounds... Um, I was also kind of interested when I was looking at Claudia Phantom Hive because it doesn't, it doesn't really point out who actually owns that, the Phantom Hive earldom. Is it her or is it her husband? Um, I was completely unsure about that. There's only a few cases where females gain earldoms and that's because they're mistresses of a king or a qu uh, they're mistresses of a king. So yeah, it doesn't make sense. Like there's Anne Boleyn who gained an earldom because they were mistress. Um, there's a couple of others, but yeah, it's mostly if you're a if you're a mistress or a wife of the king, then you'd gain you'd gain an earldom that way. So that could yeah, just it just doesn't make any sense. Um, yeah, why she would have the earldom, basically. Um, it suggests that their um, grandfather did own the earldom, but like we don't know anything about him at all. <laughs> like We should really know more about him, which I think is really annoying. Anyway, 
Have a good day. Take care. Bye.